Let's see. I'm trying to figure out how to hit the record. Or oh, it's recording now, so you can pop the shoot anytime. Anytime. Ready? Yep. You're bailing out. Okay. Your wings just fell off. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now, before anything, come around to the front and let's rip this back in, and you can get a front shot of me. All right, I'm doing a whole video now. Got it from the front. Okay. Go ahead and just grab the uh, thing and just pull it again. Go ahead. Pull it again. Yeah. Uh, you're all on video. Yeah. All right. So now you know how to do it. Okay, now what this will be a training do? video. Training. Okay. <laughs> I'm ready for the 172. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and unthread that. You take your thumb. <laughs> I bring out CAP, they would be panic. What the right. hell is this guy planning to do? <laughs> he took it out all the way. The chest strap is not out all the way. Okay, now I'm snapping. So it. now you're in the water and you got to get out of your chute. <laughs> Give me five seconds each, right? So you was in the 101st Airborne? No. Okay. Were you in the service? Uh, one, yeah, okay. in the Army. Okay. I wasn't in the 82nd, I wasn't in the 101st, but I was at Fort Bragg. This is a not deploy right here. This, uh, what do you call it? Pilot ship. Nice. Spring loaded pilot ship. Yes. I'll pick it in the subject. Okay. One of my favorite reserve pilot shoes, 357 Magnum. Oh. <laughs> so that's the model of it? That's, that's, model. that's what it's called, 357 Magnum. A lot of kickback. That's what they hope for. <laughs> <laughs> you got to have pop it. <laughs> These pieces right here, they're what protect the closing loop mm. from getting jammed into the fabric of the parachute. Mm. And so when the pilot chute is sitting here, these were protecting it. All right. So, and you that can way tell you make sure the chute actually pulls open. <laughs> well, it just, it just makes sure that you're not burning the, the fabric if these oh, were right. to pull out now. If only one pin came out, what do you think would happen? Uh, you have a malfunction? Yep. Oh, I see. It's a continuous loop that oh, isn't anchored. Oh, All right. So that's the part we so done the redundant stuff. If right? one pulled, the other one would come out. Now, would it release all the way off? It depends how it jammed if the pin had not come all the way out, but theoretically everything will be able to come free then. Because when that loop clears out of here, attached to the pin and this flap, and this catches air, it'll take off. So mm. it's, it's just Pull a, it. I don't want to call it a safety feature because it wasn't, you know, marketed that, it's just to keep it from doing a total malfunction. Mm. It's, it's, I never have heard terms like that used, so it's, it's just, it's one of the many things used. So this is as strong as the stuff in the, the uh, silk, honey yeah. balloon, right? Right. It's ripstop. It does? Well, that's what it's ripstop fabric, and it's 
same stuff that we saw when we were over where yeah. they're making the balloons in Ann Arbor. Yeah. That's why they say they can repair these in case we add or rebuild it. The uh, old parachute, the look like the dome, that one got no control, right? A bad little control. Oh, is this, is this the, um, the, um, the, like the paracel? The no, this round here. Oh, just the round. This is, this is old time. Okay. <laughs> Does this parachute make you think it's a baby? What do you mean by that? Or is it just uh, doesn't have control of itself? Uh, I don't know if there's a single panel. It yes. has a diaper. All right. It has a diaper. diaper. So it's either really young or really old. <laughs> All right. <laughs> or it just has problems. So, but It's called a deployment diaper. All right. And what it does is as the pilot chute pulls out the parachute, none of the lines have come unstowed mm. because the diaper mm. is keeping the lines organized. So you don't have to worry about a tangle. Now it's pulling out. And this is to stage the deployment so that it doesn't have a malfunction called a line over or may west mm -hmm. which your old pilot uh, emergency chutes the lines were free stowed oh that and so much more likely to tangle yeah. if the parachute's not fully inflated and you have lines flopping all around possible to give yourself that malfunction. Hmm. Well, what is the percentage of failure in the treatment? Do you know that? I know it's there, I don't remember the word, but it's there. Well, obviously there's some, right? Now, why did some happen? Didn't do the Three things cause parachute malfunction. Wrong packing, poor packing, bad packing, bad, bad maintenance. Okay. So if you do it right, you have to be uh, and bad have packing. Boy, that makes now sense. these last three, you see, we're keeping the diaper closed. Mm. Those are the locking stoves, because okay. that'll allow now when it's in its deployment, pulls free. Now the parachute can start inflating. You're familiar with the Ram Air parachute that sport no, no, no. That oh, jumping and skydiving uses nowadays? Yeah, that's sort of like a sail. Um, yeah, it's a flexible wing glider. Right. Well, there's two ways that parachutes work. One of them, they want to be open. One of them, they want to be closed. Well, round <laughs> parachutes want to be closed, so we have to make them open. Okay. Square parachutes want to be open, so we have to slow down the deployment. Oh. Mm. And so they have all kinds of deployment devices to slow it down. This deployment device is eliminating one of the malfunctions that round parachutes have, having the line go over the canopy Okay. before oh. it's fully inflated. So we're staging the deployment. We're not slowing the deployment mm. because it would take the same length of time to open even if the lines were free stowed. It's just this way it's going to happen in the proper order. Uh, with the diaper open, then the canopy can start inflating by Air pressure. Gravity, you're going down. Okay. Air's in the way, so it's going to get shoved up into the umbrella of the parachute. Now, this fabric here, it's a ripstop nylon, but its porosity mm. 
also allow air is, to skip some. Well, some air will go through it, mm -hmm. but it's better than if it wasn't coated. You can feel there's a coating on here, okay. which will slow the air going through okay. the fabric. So you want it to go through slowly so it can be sent? Well, it, it can't be solid. It, it can't be non-porous. It has okay. to be porous. If it was non-porous, this, at the speed you're falling, and the size of it, it would destroy itself. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Mm. okay. Explode. Okay. So I'm not so sure I want those people in Ann Arbor to rebuild a panel in case because <laughs> they're used to having stuff that's non-porous because that's what they do for the balloons. So oh, that may right. be a, an issue. You write the balloon, they have to keep the air in the air. Yeah, that, right. Yeah, they, they, not the, a lot of props like this. The balloon is floating in this area. Right. You're jumping out. You have uh, your, your body about uh, two, maybe at least a uh, couple of many G, so you're over 1,000 right. pounds. That's very interesting. So even though they claim they can redo panels, I'm not so sure now. We got to, uh, we got to meet the FAA, uh, you know, uh, so that means if they were allowed to repair, they got to know what they're doing. Right, or they have to use different material, but at least now we know. It's not all missing. Yeah, I'm still recording. What, what for? Right now you run out of memory. All right, well, I got lots of memory in this song.